What's up, my little titles? Yo, there's a new chapter in the Wendy Williams saga, and you're not going to believe this. Wendy is threatening to sue Deb Mercury. Now, we knew yesterday she said, listen, Howard, that's her spokesperson that spoke out of turn. I love you and I respect you, but watch yourself because you don't speak for me. I'm not giving Sherry my blessing, and I'm not getting Deb Mercury my blessing. Those are the producers in the network, y'all. Wendy was true to this. She ain't new to this. Guess what? New reports are actually coming out that, listen, Wendy Williams is threatening legal action. And not even that, but she's speaking out some more about how she feels like she was stabbed in the back by Sherry Shepard. Y'all, let's get into this. But before we do, hit the like, subscribe, notifications, because you know I'm going to ride this till the wheels come off. And it looks like we actually might have some court documents coming out as to what's happening with the guardianship when it's settled. But anyway, anyway, let's get into this mess. Now get this it's finally been officially announced that wendy williams is being replaced by sherry shepherd in the new show sherry this fall now i don't care what y'all say sherry shepherd was fine to fill in but leah remedy was better than sherry shepherd let's see how long this show lasts now that we know that the network ain't getting wendy back but that's besides the point right um this has left wendy angry without a show and threatening legal action this girl is threatening to sue they literally said wendy is on sick leave and has basically been fired now listen i just want to let y'all know this wendy williams does not work for the network wendy williams owns the wendy williams show the network has the rights under contract to distribute it on their channels however wendy may have a legal case in saying that even if it is a partnership and she is not performing when that performance is due to a sickness or illness under the fa- under federal law you cannot just fire someone if they are sick right and it interferes if they are in rehab or if they are i believe if they've given birth to a child that's a little but anyway let's move on right so she does have legal basis do you know what i'm saying now listen they said wendy is on sick leave and has basically been fired this isn't right and wendy isn't going to take this she's considering legal action against her producers and is also deciding on what to do about sherry shepherd mm, the problem with sherry sherry was supposed to be a friend filling in for wendy while she was sick let me find out but listen but instead sherry stabbed wendy in the back if anyone thinks wendy is going to disappear without a fight they are a fool now listen this is something that we didn't know before i thought the network hired sherry and wendy had nothing to do with it these sources are to be believed it sounds like they're saying that wendy put sherry down with the job like yo i recommend her she'll keep my seat warm and sherry literally looked at that seat and said (laughs) on some little finger games of thrones it's gonna be mine soon now get this also i agree there's too much money at stake for wendy and even if wendy can't really speak for herself right now at stake for the people that represent wendy's interests people don't just let money like this go that's why the network is always emailing or text messaging or doing whatever trying to get her back in that seat because everybody knows how much money wendy makes them and to tell you the truth even these people throwing no dirt on her name and trying to spare her and trying to make us think crazy stuff right guess what they also have money at stake anyway get this Deborah Mercury co-presidents uh, Mort Marcus and Ira Bernstein said in a press release on Tuesday, we all have a great love and affinity for Wendy. <coughs> we don't believe you. You need more people who grew into a true icon during her 12 incredible season as a solo host of a live daily talk uh, show dishing on hot topics and interviewing celebrities grew into it she was an icon that's why y'all hired her D- yo people's revision is history when they want to diminish you whew, it's a hell of a thing i don't care what y'all say when they put deb mercury on the map that is one of their crowning jewels their shining diamonds and now they're trying to say that she grew into an icon boy stop listen she was always an icon in the streets she came up from the mud and took over but for them now they keep trying to diminish but you know we'll get into that later let's move on said since Wendy is still not available to host the show as she continues on her road to recovery we believe it's best for our fan stations and advertising partners to start making this transition now we hope we're able to work with Wendy again in the future and continue to wish her a speedy and full recovery listen whether or not Wendy can perform or not is no one's business however 
It is against federal employment law to fire somebody while they're out on stick leave and to replace them. That much I know. Deb Mercury really messed up on this. And again, I don't blame Wendy. The network's being ignorant. They were releasing stuff. The producers are being ignorant. She feels like she can't trust no one. And judging by these reports that come out, she can't trust no one. Get in the mud and play dirty with them because that's the only thing they understand, that legal action. Baby, you can replace me all you want, but guess what? You're going to have to buy out the end of the contract. If all these anchors on CNN doing two knows what Tom, Dick, and Harry can be bought out, if a Megyn Kelly can be bought out of her contract, I know a Wendy... Wendy Williams can be bought out of her contract. It means, okay, fine, you let me go, but guess what? That don't mean nothing about my contract. You're going to have to buy me out of that contract. And judging by the way, uh, the bank has her accounts frozen. She might need that money sooner rather than later. But let's get back to this. Sub- Listen, Deborah Mercury was like, we um saying... We hope we'll be able to work with Wendy again in the future and continue to wish her a speedy and full recovery. However, friends of Wendy Williams tell Radar that next time Marcus and Bernstein see Wendy, it'll be in court. You can't just fire someone after a decade because they're sick. That's true, right? Added a friend who could not produce a single law prohibiting what has occurred. Um, actually, it is. It's the fair. It's it's the equal opportunity. It's a fair. Listen, I'm misquoting what it is, but I know for a fact that we have federal law that literally presents. Uh, prevents people from firing them while they are sick and if you give them a permanent leave of absence you have to buy out the contract so listen whoever that friend is isn't a lawyer but that don't mean they wrong seriously and i take issue with this the nerve uh, first of all whoever is the sources to all these new online articles we let's just put it out they don't like wendy they got a personal grudge against her even the way it's so vicious oh she always had a big mouth and now that big mouth's gonna come back to bite her in the butt baby you don't know anything about politics and i'm not politics about law <laughs> politics i'm thinking about the i got the russia ukraine mess up yo russia's about to go to war with ukraine and he basically announced that he was but you know what it don't even matter right like we're not here for that right But I will say the nerve of the fact that when somebody built something and when people are breaking the law, that's why you can't listen to people when employers are doing you dirty or when partnerships are doing you dirty and you got to go what your heart tells you to do because they are doing everything they can to discourage Wendy from suing. But Wendy actually has a case. Again, if they want to fire her, that's fine. But they did renew that contract. They renewed that contract. They did renew your, that contract. And guess what, baby? Since that contract's been renewed, if you are letting her go, and I'm sure there's a clause for a sickness, you are going to have to compensate her, just like you have to do with every talk show horse. Why is Wendy? Why is Wendy different? Again, this is not anything personal against that production company or Wendy. I do think, if y'all can follow me, that Wendy is being treated differently by the bank, by the network, by everyone. For what we see other stars of her caliber. Ellen ain't go through this. And I know what you're saying. Well, Ellen wasn't sick. But if she was, she wouldn't be going through this. I'm just saying, look at the way they're treating Wendy. I do think it's different. I do think it's unfair. But you know what, y'all? You ain't here for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is developing. But, yo, it looks like Wendy Williams is literally going to sue. And as well, she should. That's right, Wendy. Fight the power and get you your money. So you can literally skip along the beach and they can stay mad counting your coin let me know what you think in the comments y'all think i'm tripping you think wendy deserves to leave about nothing it don't matter what we idiot think she gonna take it to court because she might as well because you know what those accounts frozen she can use every penny she gets all right y'all talk to you later